The CEO Mindset is brought to you by Hill & Company 12 Event Design. You are now tuned into the CEO Mindset, bringing you trending topics that will engage you to level up in your business while equipping you to maximize your business opportunities and empower you to boldly step into your business brand and be more visible. This is the CEO Mindset. A CEO is bold, optimistic, vibrant, and successful, leaving a legacy, spreading money-making vibes with a wealth mindset to match her grind. She dreams big. CEOs have no limitations, and when obstacles come, they knock them down gracious. Choosing her own path, a CEO never lowers her aim for someone else's gain. She's wise in her steps. CEOs move in silence, breaking barriers, running businesses, securing the bag, making investments, creating perfect credit. Now that's the CEO mindset. Welcome to the CEO Mindset. I'm Nicole Gates, your brandologist. And I'm Katrina Kimball, your health and wellness consultant. Today we're going to be talking about the impacts of stress on your business. And we know as a CEO, we deal with all forms of stress and it comes in all shapes and fashions. So today we want to talk about how to manage the stress in your life so it does not have a negative impact on your business. And you know what, Katrina, each week we want to bring trending topics to our audience that engages them, equips them, and empowers them to level up in their business. So ladies, as you join us today, make sure you grab your journal, grab your pen, and definitely grab your wine. As we dive into our conversation today, as we talk about stress and how it impacts your business. But before we do that, we always talk about our wine of the week. So Nicole, tell us about that. Oh, our wine of the week is Katrina's favorite. Yes. Oh my gosh, we have Chardonnay today. Absolutely. So Chardonnay is Katrina's favorite. She is a white wine lover. I'm a yes, red I wine am. lover. It's okay. We won't battle today. No, we won't okay. battle today. Not today. So I want to talk about this one. Chardonnay is actually a really good wine. Okay. I think if I had to drink a white wine, it would probably be Chardonnay. Chardonnay okay. is great. Holds up well. About two years. On the shelf, Right? Mm -hmm. um, this is 100% Chardonnay. Okay. So I think you would like that. Oh, I love Chardonnay. Uh, Chardonnay goes well with, again, white wines always go well with white meats, mm -hmm. but also creamy white sauces. Oh, okay. Like so, Alfredo? Like a pasta Al sauces? Perfect. Okay. Alfredo. Okay. Pork. Uh, seafood. And I actually take some of the Chardonnay. I cook with it. Oh, yeah. It's great for y'all. I do cook with, with it. Yeah. I cook with white wine. So, yeah. you know, if I make a... a Pasta or seafood linguine, for instance. Yeah, I so I take your yeah. shrimp or your scallops Absolutely. with the white wine. Marinate the really shrimp good. in there. Oh my gosh, <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. I don't drink it though, but you know, hey, it's okay. So we have um, some light cheeses that mm -hmm. it actually goes well with provolone, mozzarella, those type of cheeses. Uh, this one, this particular wine is about 13.5% alcohol. So it's a pretty good wine. It's not yeah, yours. Yeah. I won't say the name. <laughs> it's not 4% alcohol. Let me just say that. So it's a nice wine. You can have a nice glass of Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Sit back, unwind. And that's what we want to invite all of our CEOs to do every week when we wind down. So we know this week may have been stressful for you. So we want to encourage you to grab your glass of wine, take a sip, and continue to join us as we talk about how stress can impact your business with the CEO mindset today. But before we go, I want to teach them something this week. Do you mind? Okay, no, okay. go ahead. So when I do wine tastings, and I absolutely love doing wine tastings, I love doing them because we can educate our people about wine, right? Absolutely. Wine is something that you typically see at a business meeting when you go to networking social. Absolutely, absolutely. They'll They're have wine there. and beer. So if yeah. you don't like wine, you might yeah. want to get to like wine, you know, because yeah. nobody wants beer belly, right? No. So... <laughs> White wine is really cool. Um, what I like about white wine, and ladies, you want to always hold Children your wine by glass by the, the stem. stem. Yes. Never by the bulb. Olivia Pope, I talk about her all the time because she absolutely annoys me when she <laughs> hold her. She will hold her glass by the bulb of the glass. You don't ever want to do that. You want. You really don't want fingerprints on your glass. One, it warms the wine. Yeah, I remember. Okay? I remember that. Yeah. And then it the clouds up the glass, and you can't see if the wine is, you know, fresh. 
And you should be able to see that. You should be able to see through the wine. So if you tilt your glass, you should be able to see through it, right? Plus you end up putting fingerprints all over your glass. Yeah. And that's not really- And if your wine is cloudy, do not drink, drink it. it. I warn you, don't drink it. It may be spoiled. Yeah. You never want to have white wine sitting out. It should never be served at room temperature. It should always be chilled. Okay. About 50 degrees. Okay. Okay. A lot of people don't know that. They think they can just open up a bottle of wine and pour it and drink. No, nope. you always want to have your white wine chilled. Okay. Please okay. don't serve this to anybody. Okay. Not chilled. Okay. Okay. When we return, mm -hmm. we will talk about... We're going to continue the conversation about our topic today, which is dealing with stress and how it can impact your business and your life. So we invite you to come back and join us as we continue this conversation on the CEO Mindset. Royalty Wellness Spa is committed to providing you with a quality service in an intimate and friendly environment. They offer anti-aging medical treatments that improve the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, fill lips, vulvanize cheeks, and improve deep folds. They also offer treatments that can improve energy, decrease fat, and improve hair, skin, and nails. Call 901-779-2385. The Fruition Complex is a community of forward-thinking creatives and professionals who share a common goal of owning and operating a successful business. The Fruition Complex offers its members access to a collaborative work environment, invaluable networking opportunities, and a list of business development services. Call today, 901-779-2385. Align Therapy is a full-service community-based rehabilitation clinic specializing in manual therapy. They provide a more personalized experience for their clients. Align Therapy's goal is to help their patients become their best selves. Call 901-877-2244. Five, Five years, David. The time you served was nothing compared to the time that you were here. I'm out here with both hands tied behind my back. You trapped me. You trapped me. You, you trapped me. No, 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 no! According to Forbes, six ways to reduce business stress. One, remind yourself of what's going right. Usually people are stressed about just one or two areas of their life. If they only took a moment to look at a bigger picture, they would see that the vast majority of their life is going well. Two, get ultra clear on your to-do list. Clarity enhances serenity. If you're stressed by how much you have to do, get precise about exactly what tasks must be done. You'll often realize it's less than you thought. Three, Tidy your environment. The renowned personal development guru, Wayne Dwyer, says you can tell the state of a person's mind by the state of their car. I agree. So we know we're talking about stress today, right? Mm -hmm. In every business, we have liabilities and we have assets. Mm -hmm. Stress is definitely a liability. It can really make or break who you are and your brand. So we really need to tackle the, the topic of stress because I think when we talk about CEOs, we, we already talked about, we take on a lot of stuff, Absolutely. right? We, we, we take on that. so much in a day yeah. or so much in a month, so much with our projects that we do or whatever you know, our business is, stress is a silent killer. So Absolutely. I really want to tackle the topic of stress and how we can really manage it because stress is manageable it it's is, manageable it is you know um one of the things i think is important that women need to understand is that actually stress is the number one killer of black women more black women die from mm -hmm. heart disease and from um high blood pressure Absolutely. than all forms of cancer combined and that's wow. that's huge that's huge and yeah, what we have to realize is that stress is just a normal part of life i mean we all deal with stress and when you feel yourself in those stressful situations that's just your body responding to an external event and what we have to be able to do is to know our triggers right. and understand that I'm going to be in stressful situations, but I don't have to let them overwhelm me. How do we know when it's coming on, though? 
Well, you know, I think it comes through time. It's just like anything through time and mm -hmm. era and trial and error. You experience things mm -hmm. and you can feel when it's coming on you. But I think for women that are in business, the first thing we have to do when it comes to stress is understanding that they're also positive stress. For example, if you get that client you've been wooing for a long like, time, woo! you're going to feel some heart palpitations. <laughs> right. You're going to start to feel a little Absolutely. sweat in your palms. You're going to yeah. get a little excited. That's some positive stress. Okay. We, we like that kind. That's the good kind of stress. You also will experience stress when you're negotiating with a client or you're trying to expand your business. Stress is just built into our lives. But what we have to be able to do is to step back and assess the situation and go, okay, I can handle this much right now. I can't handle this right now. And the biggest thing is just ask for help. Sometimes we find Ooh. ourselves in a stressful situation because we won't open we won't our mouths. Ask for help. So how many of you guys, I'm wondering how many of our viewers actually struggle with ha asking for help? You know, sometimes when you are a one woman show, mm -hmm. You know, and we know how we want things done. I, I am a stickler for this. Absolutely. I know how I want it done. And I have a hard time delegating sometimes. You know, it's like, never mind, I can do it myself. You know? Yeah. But you yeah. have to you have to be able to um in any business, we always have a process. You know, we always have a, a process you follow, mm -hmm. a protocol. And I tend to lean to these things. One, you can delete it. You have a situation, something you don't have the time or the energy uh, to do. You need to it. delegate it. Delete it. Maybe delegate an opportunity it. to give to somebody else. Or you may need to de delay it. This just may mm. not be the time to do it. And I find that if you look at those three Ds when dealing with stress, that will help move you forward with your business. So it's okay if you get an opportunity. This may not be a good time for you to do it. Give a referral. You're not going to hurt your business if you give a referral to somebody. The most important thing I is you that. give the referral to somebody else. And right. that's where the delegate piece comes. Delegate it, give it to somebody else. Delay it. You may need to let someone know, you know, I appreciate this opportunity, but right now I got this much on my plate. Let's get together in the fall or let's get together in two months. And mm -hmm. if they truly want to do business with you, they're going to wait for you. They're not going to give that business to somebody else. True. And then the final one is that sometimes you just need to delete stuff. Some things you just don't need to put your time and energy into. Wow. You create the stress because you're putting your time and energy into things that are not fruitful in the first place. So stress, 3D, delay it, mm -hmm. delete it, mm -hmm. or delegate it. Yeah. Absolutely love that. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think, and I, that, need to I think I need to implement a few of those. Yeah, and that's what we want to do because the one thing about the She Almost Set mindset that we're wanting to create is give you tips and strategies to move along in your business. And these are lessons that I've learned that I wish somebody had told me. You yes. know, uh, when I, like I started that. my business, I didn't have a coach, I didn't have anybody to mentor me. So delegate it, delete it, delay it. I think that's something you should have written down in your journal. We'll be back after these messages and we'll dig a little bit deeper when it talk, we're talking about stress. And the CEO mindset. So come back and join us. Wine, because it's not good to keep things all bottled up. Enjoy the lifestyle of all things uncorked, especially when you're wine touring with Gates Uncorked. Gates Uncorked invites you to wind down and host your very own private in-home wine tasting with family and friends. Call 901-466-6703 to book today. Awaken Wellness Consulting mission is to aim, advocate, inform, and motivate individuals to engage in whole person wellness to address real life challenges. Awaken Wellness Consulting strives to equip and empower individuals in the world to discover whole person wellness. Ready to change your life? Book a consultation at awakenwellnessconsulting.com. Make a statement without saying a word. Neckology 101 is a leading provider of eclectic and unique neck art in the form of jewelry. They provide an unparalleled selection of quality products, an easy shopping experience, expedited shipping offers, and exceptional customer service. Check out their collection online today. At Christy Taylor Consulting, we understand that consulting and coaching is key to your success. We provide insight and creative strategies in the areas of radio, TV, film, and music. We assist creative entrepreneurs and businesses with professional and personal development. Within our media training division, we offer entertainers and executives tailored programs to identify one's personal narrative, 
craft a compelling message, prep for media interviews, and public speaking. For your client discovery session, go to ChristyTaylorConsulting.com. 1015 Take the Shot Studios offers photography, shooting real-time moments, creating lifetime memories, and videography, connecting the dots, linking the past, creating the tapestry of the future. 1015 Take the Shot Studios, a visual storyteller in Memphis. According to Forbes, six ways to reduce business stress. Four, try the three breath release. Take a deep breath. Then as you exhale, imagine all your problems and stress is leaving you. Do this three times and I bet you're feeling better and your stress has dissipated significantly. Five, focus on helping other people. One of the most effective techniques for reducing your stress is to take the focus off yourself. Six, take massive action. Take action to fix things. By proactively acting to improve our circumstances, we regain a feeling of control and possibility. If we continue acting, we soon get a chance in our situation to turn things around. Before the break, we were talking about positive stress mm -hmm. and, and things we could do, the three Ds. Yes. We could delete mm -hmm. it, delay it. Delegate. Or delegate it. Absolutely. Absolutely love that. We know in any business, yeah. though, that there are all kinds of things. There's a variety of stressors, mm -hmm. right? The one that I always focus on is toxic stress because yeah. I think that is critical to you building your brand. Yeah. I, toxic stress comes from when you have a long time of dealing with a stressful situation and it's never resolved. A lot of times we'll hear toxic stress when you talk about adverse childhood experiences, but well, what we do know as adults, if you don't address those traumas, that what brings that toxic stress back into your life as adults. You can hear a word, you can smell a fragrance, or you can be in a familiar area where something happened that was maybe a very negative or a traumatic event for you, and that would trigger that toxic stress mm -hmm. back into you. And when women, and in business, when you don't find an outlet for that toxic stress, it will destroy your business. Because what it tends to do, it undermines your ability to trust people, ah. it affects your ability to communicate with others. Wow. It also can destroy your brand because when you are your company, when they see you, whether you're in Walmart or you're in a coffee shop or you're just walking down the street, you are your brand. And mm -hmm. when you don't manage those things, they can destroy what you've worked so hard to build. Absolutely. And toxic stress will not go away. You know, sometimes people think, well, I can work through it. I'll push through it. Toxic stress is a true problem in this society right now because everybody's being pulled and pushed to do so much. But it's okay to stop and say no acknowledge where you are and realize that this is hindering my business. And we have not been taught in society, specifically right. in that our culture, true. that we have stress. You know, again, you talked about the superwoman syndrome. We've been told, I can work through it. I'll push oh, through yeah. it. I, I, you know, just, you know, girl, get over it. No, fake it till you make it. Yeah, fake it till you make it. <laughs> fake it till get you make it. Get over it. it. Yeah. Go under it. Go through it. But that's sometimes in life. It's just too much. And everybody, that philosophy doesn't work for everybody. You can throw those sayings out, but it does not work. You really have to stop taking the time to look at where you are and understand that if you haven't dealt with something from your past, it's going to show back up in your present. Right. And it can destroy your future if you don't address it. Absolutely. It, it will destroy your brand. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I know like very well. I've watched people actually... Uh, sabotage their own brand because they have so many toxic stressors mm -hmm. and they haven't dealt with it right so what can they do where can they go can, where can they get help i mean do they need to go for counseling is it that is it i that think critical i think that's one of the biggest myths that's in our society it's myths and stigmas around asking for help first of all in, in our culture we just don't believe in asking for help ask for help it's you okay. sit over there you know i'm just not if i don't have it i don't need it no that's why you have people in your circle. Again, we talked about in the previous oh, episode yeah. about who's in your front row. Yes. Being able to reach out and ask for help, ask for a referral. You know, sometimes you do need to go sit on the couch and have a counselor, or you may need to talk to a psychologist. Okay. It does not make you weak. Asking for help does not, it's not a sign of weakness. Asking for help actually shows your strength. It does. Because what it says is, I can acknowledge that right now where I'm at, I'm weak in this area. 
and I need help and I'm going to go get the help. To me, it's no different than when you take your car to a mechanic. You right. don't take your car to your barber. Your barber cuts your hair. Your nail tech does your nails. Right. If you need help, then you reach out and ask for the help. But for some reason, for CEOs, we tend to think we have to be all, do all, and be everything to everybody. And that's and what toxic stress comes have to into. Do that. And I think when we talk about counseling, I think the, the biggest thing is, you know, the stigma comes in because you feel like you got to tell everybody your business. Yeah. You don't have to tell a person that you're in counseling. You know, you're doing that for you. Mm -hmm. And it's okay to do that for you, right? So yeah. if you need counseling, get counseling. And like you said, it doesn't make you weak. It makes you stronger. Oh, yeah. And when you reach out for that help, make sure you're reaching out to someone that you can trust. And so, yeah. again, toxic stress can destroy you and your business. But again, ask for help. And when we come back, we're going to continue this conversation. But again, we want to make sure you have the tips and the strategies you need to continue to move forward in your CEO business. So come back and join us as we continue this discussion. It's time to pop some flair into your style at Iona's Closet. Wonderful clothes and outstanding customer service. A wide selection of casual and consignment clothes for the woman of style at Iona's Closet in Memphis. Hill & Company 12 Event Design. Five years, David. The time you served was nothing compared to the time that you weren't here. Look, I'm out here with both hands tied behind my back, trying to make things right. Denise! No, 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 no! Hi, I'm Rod Kirby, and I'm a screenwriter, director, and producer here in Memphis, Tennessee. After completing my last short film in 2016, an interesting idea popped into my head. What if a father and son had to fight for their lives after the rapturing of the saints? The Bible talks about an event where believers are spared from destruction and the horrors of the end times. This event, the rapture as it's commonly known, sees Jesus return to earth, taking believers with him and leaving sinners behind the face of the apocalypse. I started working on the script for this idea during the summer of 2016. However, I got stuck on developing a proper ending and let it sit on the shelf for three years. Since then, I've been working full time as a corporate videographer producing other projects within the Memphis film community, and I earned my master's degree in entertainment business from Full Sail University. Now, while things were going well professionally, artistically, I was in a rut. I had a burning desire to finish the script, but I didn't know how. Then, something miraculous happened. The perfect ending for the film came to me in a dream. I woke up, started jotting down ideas, and before I knew it, I was ready to dive in and finish the story. The Prayer is a faith-based drama and thriller that follows the story of a man whose wife and daughter are taken to heaven during the rapture. He's left behind along with his son to pick up the pieces after they're gone. Years later, they must fight for their lives when they're visited by a partially blind psychopath who infiltrates their home by impersonating a minister. The Prayer is a dark and gritty exploration of what happens when we're forced to confront our sin and what it takes to earn redemption. After finishing the script last year, I saved a little money to start production on The Prayer. We were able to shoot the first half of the film early this year. Now we need your help to finish production in order to submit our project to film festivals. We need money for additional casting, production costs, and finishing funds for post-production. I want to personally invite you to join us in the making of the prayer. If you're a fan of faith-based films like the Left Behind series, thrillers like Frailty, or tense family dramas, then this is the movie for you. We're raising production funds with the help of a platform called Seed and Spark. We have to raise 80% of our funding goal in order to receive money to complete the prayer. Please consider pledging just a few dollars to help us reach our goal. Thanks for watching. Welcome back. You know, during the break, we took a little time to just have a little chit chat. And one of the <laughs> things I was laughing about is we have to, it, it's serious. I'm laughing, but it's serious because we started thinking about triggers and what things trigger Absolutely. our stress. One thing we do have to learn how to do is manage our stress. And, and Coach K, as I always <laughs> call her, uh, always uses this topic. And she says, you can't run your business if you run yourself in the ground, right? Absolutely. You can't run your business. If you are stressed out to the max, 
you cannot run your business. You cannot represent your brand Absolutely. in the best fashion if you are running the ground. You're stressed out and, you know, always spazzing out. And yeah. And having anxiety attacks. Get some help for that. Yeah. Because getting help doesn't make, doesn't you, make you weak. Yeah. It makes you stronger. So I want to just tap into managing stress, right? Absolutely. And how our CEOs can really look at their, the stress they may have in their life. Absolutely. And do something about it. Well, for me, I believe in always going back to the basics. I think sometimes we think when we're dealing with stress, we got to have this great divine plan and I got to do all these extra things. You don't yeah. have to do that. The first thing we have to do is disconnect. Ooh. In this technology advanced world, we are bombarded with messages from our cell phones, from social media, from mm. the, the 200 channels on your television that you don't watch. Right. <laughs> uh, you, you sign up for all these different podcasts. I'm going to sign up for these webinars and you don't ever go in. And so you're constantly being bombarded with things. So the first thing we want to do when it comes to our stress is disconnect. Turn off the television, turn off technology, turn off your conversations and be quiet. And you know what? I wonder how many people are really scared to disconnect. They are. It's a hard, hard thing, to, hard do, thing right? to do, It's very hard to do. We want to leave our phone on because we have kids, you know. Oh, they, my kids may call. But what's the chances that they won't call? You know, we, we are so afraid to just turn it off. And what we don't realize is at night when you're trying to rest, for those that like to sleep with the television on and sleep with noise on, oh, studies have shown that you are truly not resting. Mm -mm. Your brain, your cells, your body actually heals at night when you're sleeping. And when you have things on a sound or a light, you may have your eyes closed. There's a difference between resting and sleeping. Absolutely. What we want you to do is to rest. So like Nicole was talking about, she set an alarm to tell her when it's time to go to bed. You got to prepare your body and mind for rest. So those are some things you want to do first is disconnect. The second thing is always evaluate your workload. Ooh. I know everybody wants Ooh. to be a millionaire. Yes, include me. But you have to be honest with yourself, especially when you're first starting out oh, and when you're a yes. one woman business, you have to know how much you can handle on your workload. That does not mean that you can't take on projects, but sometimes you may need to partner with someone Absolutely. and say, hey, let's do this joint venture together. For example, I reach out to Nicole all the time when it comes to branding and marketing and PR. She is excellent at that. I am not. <laughs> I am the content person. I write the content for the right. training. But anytime I need something marketed or I need some production or I need some ideas, I reach out to her. So evaluate your workload, partnership with some people, collaborative engagement. You can get more done when you work with together. And there's so many people that don't believe in that. It's, it's amazing to me. My favorite word is collaboration. Yes. Because I think, you know, together we can achieve more, right? Absolutely. Um, and collaborative engagement allows you to connect different resources because you may know some people that Absolutely. I don't know. And I know people you don't know. Right. But when we come together, they will see your brand and my brand. They go, oh, this is interesting. Let me see what this right. is. And then the Great final image. thing is be honest with yourself. We've got to stop telling ourselves lies and get mad when other people don't believe them. Okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, say it again. Stop, they didn't hear you. <laughs> stop telling again. yourself lies and get mad when other people don't believe them. We write these stories in our mind. We do. And we write these stories about ourselves that are untrue. So we want to make sure that if you're going to work through your stress, you want to disconnect, you want to evaluate your workload, and then you want to be honest with yourself. So those are the final three things I would say about stress. And give us those three Ds again. Those three Ds. <laughs> the three Ds of dealing with stress, you want to delete it. Delete it. Delay it. Delay it. Or delegate it. Definitely delegate it. I'm going to learn those. Absolutely. Those three Ds are so important. And as always, we want you to remember where you started, celebrate where you are, Focus on where you're going and trust the process. And don't forget to wind down. Cheers. And we invite you to join us again as we continue the CEO Mindset. The CEO Mindset is brought to you by Healing Company 12 Event Design.